Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, Kitizen. I'm in Orlando and I love wine. And how cute is this? I have the best friends. One of my friends bought me this for my birthday last month. I, it's the first time I've owned an actual Yeti because I'm cheap and I usually buy like the Walmart knockoff ones and, or I find others at thrift stores, but I've never had a Yeti. So I feel like it makes my wine taste a little better. So today I have a thrift haul for you. I haven't done one in a little while because look y'all, to be honest, I'm trying to stay up out of the thrift stores because all these startup boxes and all the things are overtaking my house and you know. So I'm gonna start off the video with a haul I have from Once Upon a Child. I know you guys hear me talk about it a lot and I do know that I have helped some of you decide to incorporate sprinkle in a little bit of kids items in your shops, even if it's just kids shoes or certain brands. So I had uh, like three trash bags worth of clothes given to me for totally free uh, from someone in my family. And she got them given to her from somebody. And anyway, it was a lot of, it was all kids stuff. And it was, you know, Walmart and uh, like a lot of Garanimals and the Jordache and this and that. Anyway, my local consignment loves that kind of stuff as long as it's in great condition. So I ran in there and I always look in two places. I look for the shoes and then I just kind of go through the girl's dresses. My husband's outside. And I have an eye for Lily Pulitzer. I love Lily. It's kind of all I wear besides my sweatshirts and t-shirts. And so I did not have plans of staying long. And how random is this? Like, I don't, it's just crazy when I explain this to you. So I brought this entire tote of the stuff that was given to me for free and they had already, when I walked up with my items, so they couldn't have made this up. It already had stapled on the outside and big marker 4271, I think it was, was how much they were offering me. And they took every single piece of item I brought them and I purchased what I'm going to show you here, less, I think two pieces because, and a couple books, a couple things I gave my kids already. Anyway, so I always try to trade in because then you don't have to pay tax. And my total, you guys, because I had a $5 off coupon, plus some stuff was on clearance, plus was $42.71. Not even kidding. And so it ended up just, she was like, well, you owe me nothing. I owe you nothing. So anyway, I just was like, whoa, super weird. So these items on my spreadsheet are costing, are $0. So these essentially, I took free items someone gave me. So I'm telling you this long-winded story that if you go to the bins, pick up kids stuff. If you, if people want to just give you random stuff and you're like, oh, this is Walmart. I know Once Upon a Child isn't everywhere, but I know that there's kids consignment similar to that everywhere. So I was pretty thrilled with that. So I picked up these Crocs. You guys know Crocs are it. These are the cutest little Finding Dory. I just need to clean them up a little bit. Uh, they would have been eight fifty, which is really kind of high for even my local store. But because I knew I had that trade in, I was happy to get them for a free. Converse I pick up often, especially if it's something cool. These are Batman Converse, or uh, these were a little kid size six, and these are a, a little kid size seven. These things I'm going to try and have some self-control and not hoard them. My girls are only in size like five and seven and these are big items. And so like these are girls size 10. I have these shorts in my size, so I am inclined to keep them, but you know what? Like we're talking years away and they made it all the way to the clearance. So they had these priced at 550 and I think the clearance was like 40% off. So just to give you an idea, even though I paid nothing. This is a girl size 12, 14. If you're a very tiny human, Lily size 14, 16, I think they even have like a double extra large. You can get away with wearing that and saving yourself money if you're looking on the apps, just FYI. Because this is, to me, this is like an, a women's extra, extra small is what it would equate to. But anyway, same thing. This made it all the way down to clearance. So it's an extra large 12, 14. And this Okay, I lie. I'm keeping this one. Uh, it did make it in the pile. Just because it's a size seven. It is my daughter's size, but they had it priced at $8.50. So, and I got to give it away for free. So make sure people know what you do. Even like, I just do this for fun, but someone in my family knew to say, hey, Amanda, I've got a bag of kids clothes. It might be junk. It might not. Do you want it? And so I took the time to go through it, traded it in for stuff that I wanted to keep and some items that are going to make me money. 
And the last piece, I just got done saying in my last couple videos, but I don't often pick up the Lily White label. I picked this one up just because I really liked the scallop hem and I know that this print will do well in this like early springtime, like for Easter. So that's what I got from Once Upon a Child. So those items were free. All right, now I'm gonna show you um, this stuff. Speaking of my own kids, do y'all buy stuff for yourselves at the thrift store? I swear I can't come out of there without something, but I picked up the cutest little Oshkosh bathing suit for my daughter. My kids live in bathing suits and yeah, so my friends that watch this are probably like, girl, your kids don't need any more bathing suits. I can't help myself. All right, sorry, I know some of y'all do not like the sound of the bags, but I wasn't all the way prepared, go figure. Okay, so this I picked up, um, this is Matilda Jane. And just in case you didn't know, the like some other lines, I think it's just the big girls. Um, it says 435 on it and Matilda Jane's written really low. I can just tell now by looking, like I know certain styles. This is a girl size 10, little tunic, very cute. This bra, I always look through the bras just because, um, I don't know, just do. I like selling bras, that's why. This brand is called Crazy Yoga, CRZ. I've never heard of this before, but I can just tell by the tag that it was something and it's an extra large. And I thought it was neat because it has adjustable up here. So you can adjust the straps that way. And it's got removable pads. And overall, I just thought it was a really nice looking bra for yoga and a larger size. This is a new to me thrift store that I found recently. Um, look, I have a friend who watches all my videos and doesn't ever comment because she's never logged in, but she has become basically my assistant and she just gets shout outs for it and she gets to hang out at my house and you know, anyway, she watches my videos and she picks up stuff for me to sell and I, you know, I, I pay her back and yeah, so she's gotten really good at learning what brands. She was very excited to bring these to me and I was excited. I've never found this brand, um, Mother. So these are some Mother jean shorts that she picked these up at a Goodwill and they're a size 27, which is a great size. I'm not sure what to expect for these yet, but thank you, Christy, for finding like, They're so soft. Like, I'm not going to try them on. And these, she knows that we like Converse. I've actually decided I'm going to keep these for my daughter. The, the laces are coming across red, but they're actually a really pretty fuchsia color. So it's teal and pink, which I love. This, these are a girl size two and a half, which these will fit my daughter very soon. But I just love this kind of slip on. And these were only... Um, $5.99. So that's a great, and we don't have to wear uniforms to school this year. So she'll be able to wear those to school. All right. I've got another bag for you and that is it. So these were another day I went to that same thrift store that I already showed you a couple of things from. I'm sure I have nothing else around here. Okay. So these uh, are Anything Vibram with Vibram soles is great, but these are actually just the Vibram company. These are their five finger shoes. I actually am going to be keeping these, but I wanted to show you because these sell, uh, you'll get a solid, I think I paid $40 for a pair for my husband, but he works out in our lake often and he keeps getting holes in them. So these were a whopping $4 and I would be able to make decent money on them because they really don't show much wear. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so great pickup. These, um, shout out to my friend Kathy over at Ginger Marvin. If you don't watch her, you should. Her and her husband, I love them. He just, he seems like the sweetest guy. Like he helps her like my husband helps me. And I feel like Kathy and I are very similar in personality and we need a Chris and Michael in our life. Like, because not very many people would put up with us otherwise in my opinion. <laughs> anyway, she talks about this brand. I had never heard of it. I don't know that I would have even picked these up. It's Mephisto and they're men's shoes, which I, you know, she sells so much of, like I have learned a lot of brands from her and these are in like perfect condition. There is a uh, men's size nine and a half. So I was like, you know what? It's worth the risk be um, because they were not expensive. So hopefully one of my coming up what sold videos, you will see those. Picked up a pair of Brooks sneakers. These are in fantastic condition. They are a size women's 10 and a half. 
these were definitely a good find, especially with school coming up. These are brand new Nike Star Runner 2.0s. I don't really know what that is. I just knew that they were 10 bucks and brand spanking new. They are a kid's size two. If these were bigger, I'd keep them, but my son is now like a four or so. But these are going to be a great pair of school shoes for somebody. Oh, there's the other Vibram. These, I was so excited to find. We are Harry Potter fans around here, like for sure. My kids are begging for Universal Passes. We already have Disney Annual Passes and we already have SeaWorld Annual Passes. So I told them maybe next year. Okay, so these are Harry Potter vans. I need to clean them up some. And they are small. They are a size seven and a half, no, size eight US. But Harry Potter, I think this is a snitch, right? And it says, um, I open at, so what a fan I am that I don't even know for sure what this is called, but uh, these are, these are just awesome. And some more Crocs. These are so tiny and they're narwhals. They're a little infant size five, but they just need a teeny little wipe down. And y'all, I'm telling you, Crocs are a solid $20 flip always, no matter the size at least. And speaking of Crocs, I love these. I did pick these up probably to keep them for my son because he had these in a smaller size and they're awesome. They're the croc material, but they're sneakers. Like the inside is so awesome. And I, what did I pay? That one didn't have a tag. $10. And they're just, they're awesome. These are, maybe I'm not going to keep these for me. I thought these were smaller. Maybe I, I, I picked up a pair at Marshall's. Anyway, these are actually a women's size eight. They don't seem that big to me. I guess they are. Maybe I'm not going to keep these. So anyway, 10 bucks is not a bad price. It says kids athletic right there, which is what confused me, but huh, they're bigger than I thought. So I would like these. If they were nine, I would keep them. But so if you see these, I mean, they, they're like that rubbery material. I mean, they remind me of a cross between natives and crops. All right, these, you might be like, ew, why did you buy those? I bought them because they were super cheap. I paid, they were 99 cents. And I know that I am a pro with a magic eraser. And you can tell by the back that these really have wear left in them. And they're just a cool color, some like retro looking uh, converse. And they're going to look good as new. And they're a toddler size nine. And my last pair, these are Tevas. Teva for anybody, kids, women, men, is always a good find, especially when you pay. $1.50. So these are a also a toddler size nine. Just some little water shoe look. I'm going to throw these in the washer just because they've got a little bit of dust and stuff on them. So that's my thrift haul. You can, um, shoes. I love shoes. I'm going into a thrift. I'm going to look at shoes. Hopefully you guys, um, took my little tip. Like, so if you, if you get donations, don't just discard those cheapy brands, especially of kids stuff, like trade it in. Uh, if you're like, I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't have kids. You can still trade stuff in and you know certain brands, you know Lily Pulitzer, you know Crocs, like just dig through the bins. It's really easy to spot certain things like that. I will tell you, we've got like three Once Upon a Child near my house, I mean, near-ish. And sometimes it's overwhelming. One of them in particular, they need to move to a bigger location. Everything is really shoved in. So it's quite stressful to go there. I would suggest not bringing any children with you. And they have books. I mean, and their books are cheap. They're like $1.50 for paperbacks, which I've got a reading kid who always wants new books. So also if you have books that you don't want to sell, Trade them in there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.